Welcome to the Nitpicking Nerds. I'm Joe Cherries. I'm Beezy. And today we're talking about a brand new commander that was just spoiled recently. Prime Speaker Vanivar. Yeah, it's not a great name. I don't know. You can't say it, so. I can't say it at all. This card is insane. I didn't think it was very good when I first saw it, but. I did. He did. This card is insane. Uh, everyone's is talking about it for Commander. Um, it can just win from so many spots in the game, and it's insane. Let's read what Prime Speaker Vanifar does. I will read it. Okay, read it Read it to me then. And I'll tell you, you will read it. Prime Speaker Vanity Fair. It is two, green, blue, and it is a two, four. But that's not what's important. Those, those are almost, that's almost Pretty good stats, I don't know. Tap, sacrifice another creature. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrifice creature's converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. Okay. Now, if you play Magic, which I'm assuming do we, do you we, do. Do we play Magic? Uh, you might recognize this text. It's the exact text. Well, is it the exact text? Not the exact text. It's very similar to Birthing Pot. Um, but they took away the activation cost, which is huge. They did. And, and a they put it on a creature. And, and it's legendary. And it's a 2-4. All right. So... We said, BZ, when we first started right away, first thing he did was make a chain. So, the chain of creatures that can untap Vanifar. Vanifar. And this goes right from, so if you start with a dry Arbor, you can dry Arbor into the first one. We have Let's Green see. Ranger at one mana, Scrub Ranger at two mana, Deceiver Exarch, among other things, at three mana, Breaching Hippocamp, um, or Fate Stitcher at four mana, Tidewater Minion at five mana. You can have Woodland Bellower or Great Oak Guardian at six mana. Woodland Bellower can fetch up Bounding Crisis. Yep. So any of those go into anything that has higher mana cost. You yeah. just keep on tapping Vanifar. You just keep generating creatures. So a lot of people have been talking about how this is a cool commander, but it's not going to be one you're going to want to build casual. <laughs> or fun. You're not going to want to build a casual because it'll be in a playgroup with like your friends maybe, you can be like, you guys know my Vanifar right. deck is pretty just... It's value. It's just a good deck. Just playing it's just, it's green, just, I'm playing Wood Elves, guys. Yeah, I just go Wood Elves into my four oh, drop. Oh, Solemn you know? Simulacrum. Wow. Yeah, exactly. I'm not doing anything too powerful over here. But if you sit down across from a Vanifar player in a four-player pot... You're I not, assume if they untap with it, I lose. Yeah, they're, And they're going to be really smug about it. So it's, I would kill it every single time. I'm, you can win... From so many positions with this card. We're gonna start, yeah, well, we're just gonna start going over them now because if you untap with it, let's just say you untap with it with any two job. Or if it has haste. Or if it has haste. Turns out giving it haste is really good. Yeah, if you give it haste and it comes out, it's insane. Like, this is, so some of this is troubling when we're looking at this, and I was thinking about, like, oh, we need two extra mana to do these combos, but it's like, oh no, this is just, you need these two extra mana if you're going off of these combos on turn three and four. Yeah. So if you're winning the game on turns three and four, it can sometimes you might need an extra mana or two. Otherwise, you might just naturally have it because you untap. You, now she can tap. People are calling for this card to get banned. I don't know if it's going to get banned. Uh, I don't it's know if it's going to be probably another good commander. I mean, I how know. many cards win the game the next turn or can win the game on the same turn? Oh, it's the, possible. The rules committee clearly doesn't care. It's possible to get banned. I don't know if it'll get banned. I think it's cool. It is cool. I wish she was not so comboy. In, in a way that, like, maybe she had, like... Some I wish it said, sacrifice what elves, get Solemn Simulacrum. That's the only ability. It activates the ability only a certain X number of times per turn. Just name a number. One? <laughs> One time per turn? Yeah. Why would it be, like, activate this ability only six times per turn? <laughs> There's something that say like, three. What says three? Okay. They, activate this ability. Well, it kills itself. Yeah. That, that's it's a not dragon even, well. That's thing. not even the same thing. <laughs> It's so it, No, you can activate it more than three times. All right. Well, I wish there was a way to make this card rust busted. I guess that would be the way. Would be to make it fair. Uh, to be fair, Judith can't even can't even trigger off a of tokens. Ah, oh, Judith is so cool. We love Judith, but she sucks. She would be super cool if she triggered off a of tokens. That would be my next CDH deck if she triggered off a of tokens. I mean, Judith is the best name possibly ever <laughs> that we've ever seen on a magic card. <laughs> I love. When I saw the flavor text for that like exile spell, it was just like Judith. Yeah, Judith. She didn't have a title there. No, Judith. Just Judith. Judith said it. <laughs> Some forty-year-old woman. It's really good. Let's let's talk about. Let's do a couple of the winning the game combos that are really simple. Sure. Let's just say you. I'll do one, and then you do one. Okay, you do the first one. Fine. So this requires one and a blue, 
one of any color and a blue untapped mana and you need thousand year elixir in some way so we know the chain you can start the chain at any point we need to have dryad arbor yep any into so, Quirion, into Scrib Ranger, into Exarch, into Hippocamp, slash Fate Stitcher, and into Tidewater Minion, and then you just keep untapping Vanifair every time and getting the next thing in the chain. And you get Woodland Bellower, and get uh, Bounding Crisis, untap Vanifar, and now you're getting Protean Hulk, and you have your Thousand Year Elixir still untapped, so you use that, tap it, untap Vanifar one last time, sacrifice Protean Hulk, now here we go. You're going to get Pillapala, Grand Architect, Walking Ballista, and Root Water Diver. Ballista will die immediately to state base because it's a zero zero. Then you well, use your hasty root water diver to bring back Ballista and you kill everyone because you have infinite mana with Pillapala untapping to make mana and Architect tapping Pillapala to make mana. This one is slightly more complicated than it needs to be. Because there's like 15 cards in it. Well, the only thing that's slightly more, uh, we learned. Uses Vanifier to get Protean Hulk, but you don't need to do that. We learned that you can just get your. Uh, like. Why don't we read the next combo? If you get your Fate Stitcher. If you have haste, all right. Let's just do the whole. Why don't we read the next combo? Because it's the same you're about to say. Yeah, it's the same thing I'm about to say. Except, yeah, except you're about to say it. Like, all right. So any two drop in commander. Ah, that's pretty easy. And you can start the chain up later if you have other cards. But to so start with any two drop, you tap Vanity Fair, Trophy Mage, get Thousand Year Elixir, play your Thousand Year Elixir, untap your Vanity Fair, Pod into, I literally just call it potting because that's what it's called, up the chain into Fate Stitcher. Fate Stitcher, untap your, your Vanna Fair. Thanks to Thousand Year Elixir, giving it haste. Untap tap your Vanna Fair, pot into Prayer Grand Drake, untap your lands, unearth your Fate Stitcher now, using one of those untapped manas. Pod your Fate Stitcher. Tide Water Minion. I forgot this card exists. I don't even know this card how exists. How do you not No, that's I'm, I am so sorry. Pod, I'm embarrassed. I, then how does your use your Tide Water Minion to untap your Fan affair. Mm -hmm. Pot it into Dead Eye. Get your infinite mana combo going with Paragon Drake. Yep. So you got you do that. Pot away your after you have infinite mana. Well, ten billion mana because you can't make infinite technically. Pot away your Paragon Drake. Get it your skill in. Kill everyone because you can just flicker it infinite times. Yep. Pretty good. It's stupid actually. That's just what I'm going to expect. This kind of crap is what I'm going to expect with this yeah, thing. Yeah. Don't expect to sit down. See if yeah we go to if. Let's say in like five weeks when this card's out. Five years. If, well, why not five weeks? Why not five million years? Doesn't matter. Uh, all right, how about in five weeks when this card's out? Because that seems like a reasonable amount of time. Okay. Okay. In five weeks when this card's out, if me and BZ go to a Monday Commander Night, which is our Commander Night at our LGS. Why not Tuesday? <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> it's too many questions. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're at Tuesday Night Commander. All right. We're at our average Tuesday Night Commander right. at our LGS. We sit down, and there's... Somebody sits down that we don't know, and they're like, you want to play a game? Yeah. They put Vanifair on the table. There's no way we're not targeting them. There's no way. And there's, there's no, no way. way it's living. No one's ever if, letting one tap with it. If I see Vanifair, I'm switching to my remo removal deck, and I'm just going to try to poop on their day. Yeah, All I day. Mean, it's just too... It's just... The fact that they can win from so many positions is absurd. And, like, this is a list... This is, like, winning quick, what this is. It's, if this you deck, untap it, you win. This deck can also, like, they could be playing Mana Rocks and just doing stuff early to set up for a late turn to just go off. With protection. With protection. There's that, there's a, the three, there's the one green, green guy that players can only play spells in their turn. That card's and good. And then you can go off with that from mm -hmm. there. Like, you have that in the field and then you go off. It's like, well, couldn't do anything, could literally not interact with you. All right. <laughs> it's so fun. Like, there's just stuff like that that make good. This card's just not going to be fun, I don't think. I wish it had the caveat of, like, activate once per turn. Or three times per turn. Oh, like three? most normal cards have. <laughs> you stop hating. I just, I'm just saying, like, if it had a set number, even two. They said you can only do it at sorcery. That's some. That's kind of a restriction. Uh -huh. You have to win the game on your turn. Yeah, you can't pass and then win. Right. Though, you know what, I was thinking about this recently. They haven't made a card yet that lets you activate abilities that can only be activated at sorcery's instant speed. How would you word that? I just worded it. <laughs> that didn't sound weird at all. I, abilities that can only be activated at sorcery... Speed. They can't say the word speed. They won't say speed. Yeah. What they say? Activated at any time you can activate a sorcery can now be activated. It. Uh, well, there's no room for any other thing. Anytime. Any other text on that card. <laughs> it's weird. It's. Just, I thought they have cool. a shortened art. I think box. it's it's probably too powerful <laughs> because maybe there's a reason they put. And that card a, could just be bad. There's a reason they put. You can only do this at sorcery speed on cards usually. Sort of. Usually because they're really good. Because imagine how bir good birthing pot is if you can, even it's with better. 
It's really good. It's better. <laughs> it's insanely good. How is it insanely good? Being able to pot in response to removal. Eh? You don't think that, like, adds, like, a nice extra layer of, like, awesome, like, wow, that card's amazing, though? It's cool. Cards are really good. So you have to have Birthing Pot and this mystery card that we don't know how it's costed or what what type it is. <laughs> I didn't see this. And you're just saying, like, you always have it ley line of flash oh. abilities? <laughs> Stop. I just made up a card. I thought it was cool. Yeah, but if you have it out with Birthing Pot, then I guess that's awesome. Yeah. Let's make Birthing Pot awesome, though. Birthing I was saying Birthing Pot's pretty good. I think Birthing Pot's awesome. If like if it, inst- if it can be activated at instant speed, it's amazing. I agree. Okay, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't trying to say you have to have this mystery card. I was just saying the reason that they put the line of text of it only activating at sorcery speed is important. So let's go over some cool cards with Vanity Fair. Yeah, we got a little off topic there. Yes, we did. But we were talking about that's Birthing Pot. kind of what we do. We were talking about birthing parts, so it's all right. Uh, there's a lot of cool cards with Vanity Fair. There's just she does so many cool things, and I wish we could do these cool things without. But why would you use cool things when you're going to get a five drop? You can go get a body drop, get a body double, something like that, and just like cop anything in your graveyard. That, and it's been putting cards in your graveyard. Sweet combo, right? But why would you do that? You can get prayer guns, you can combo off. Yeah. <laughs> why are you why doing? Wouldn't, why wouldn't you do that? Why are you doing that? You can get Eternal Witness. Get anything back from your graveyard. Oh, wow. Wow. That's that, cool. That's pretty powerful. But why don't we just get to see Rexa and tap it and keep it going up the chain? Yeah, because it's so easy. It's just like, no matter what you say, Coring Oracle, which will actually be in the deck, obviously. But it's like, you can maybe, go get your Coring this, Oracle. This, this is a red-white commander. It would be fair. It's like, I have my Coring Ranger. All right, I'll pot it away into Coring Oracle. Oh, that's pretty cool. No, wait. Why am I not just going up the chain? Squib Ranger, keep going. It's, <laughs> eh? Why are you ever stopping? It's just like, and you can keep doing all these value plays. You can put a Wood Elves in the deck, which will probably be in the deck, but it's like, Wood Elves, you're not going to pot into it. You're just going to keep the chain you're going. You're not potting into Solemn Smolacrum. You're potting just, into Fate Stitcher, Breaching Hippocamp, whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whatever's keeping your chain going. So let's read some cards that are good in the deck. There's Concordant Crossroads. You want to give it haste. Intruder Alarm. Oh, we haven't talked about this one. What this the one? heck? Intruder Alarm is so good with this card. <sighs> this so card? Good. How much do you think this card's worth, BZ? Probably, let's eight, talk, probably $8. $8? Dollars. Well, what if it just spiked? Oh, to like $10? How about $35? This card, be simply because of this commander being spoiled, yeah, that literally jumped 30 Many players need to stop freaking out about this crap. To be fair. It's just like, I mean, any time a legend gets spoiled, and there's a card where it's like, hey, this might be good with that card, it's like a million dollars. Yep. It's, it's kinda, just confusing it's, to me. I don't get it. I mean, the thing is, people want to play this commander, and they know you need that card. So you're trying to get it right away. Yeah, it's a good card. It's like every player who wants to play this card, you want th- that card is the best card in the deck. Let's read Intruder Alarm. Sure. Intruder Alarm is a three-man enchantment, two and a blue. Creatures don't untap during their controllers and taps up. Whenever a creature comes into play, untap all creatures. So, hmm. this is the easiest combo ever. Interesting. If you have this and any other creature, you can win the game from this position. Wow. Even if you just have this and, like... Landwar Elves? Yep. Well, how do you win the game? Well, you potted up the land. Oh, with Vanifar. I thought you, you literally have, just meant no, no, this no, 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 and you, another creature. Like, no, no, if you have Vanifar, if you have Vanifar on the field, and this. any other intruder alarm, and any creature, you win the game. Well, you get all your creatures out. So if you're playing a fair deck, you just get all your creatures out. You can get all your One cre- after the other. You it's can also, weird. any creature that gets you another creature will add another chain to do, mm-hmm. which there's lots of stuff like that, I'm sure. Like... The tokens can uh, go into one man. The things. Bellowar, like we talked about. Bellowar. Bellower. Yeah. Woodland Bellerin. Yeah, that card. <laughs> Woodland Woodland Bellower. Mm. Yes. Woodland Bellower. Uh he you can get him, it starts a new chain. True. Uh, True. Which you can just get more creatures. Yeah, I think that makes the token starts a new chain. Plus, uh can you, does he only get green three drops? Yes. He does. So you can get brown increases, but I'm just I was just thinking like you can get like Vanifair. Or <laughs> nope, you can't get mad for it. You get trophy mage. <laughs> you can get trophy yes, mage. Which yes, you can. Trophy mage is really good. Let's you get your thousand year elixir in this deck. This deck just kind of looks a little wins. boring to me. I mean, when I'm looking at like Green Sun Zenith, uh, Court of Calling, all this stuff, you're just gonna play a bunch of mana dorks. It's just like an elf ball deck, except the the elf ball is your commander. You're gonna play things like your Palacron's gonna be super good. Mm-hmm. Yep. You just play that. Dead Eye Navigator combo, you're probably, probably, maybe, probably playing maybe Protein Hulk combo. Who knows? Just jam whatever you want. Yeah, like you. The reason you also you get, I think you get to win with this because you can end up getting like with Vanifer, you can get Malira, and Wolf Primus is pretty much blow up like a 
Yeah, he needs ten to twenty he things. Stack outlet, yeah. yeah. I mean, you have one. I guess. <laughs> Nine drops are some of the worst in Magic. Ugh. It's weird. They need to print some good nine drops. It's weird how bad nine drops are in Magic. Yeah, we were because we were thinking about the top ten nine nines for nine. For that, like that, eventually will happen. Nine and nine. It's, there's, there's they're all such a poop. <laughs> Nines are so bad. It's a weird spot because there's a lot of good eights. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of good tens. There's Crater of Behemoth. This is amazing. Kozilek, Ulamog. Yeah, at ten. What's but that? nine is like. Void Windware? Ar- Artisan of Cosmos? I think it's just Void Windware. Void- and even then, that's not even 9 nines for 9. That's, yeah. That's just like 9 saying, That's like the best one I can think of is Void Windware. Like Maybe. The best one. That's about it. This car- this deck seems like it's going to be boring, straightforward, Super strong. and too strong. I mean, like I said, you're not going to be able to play it for fun because unless you, 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 you need to be playing with the same group of people that know your deck is just for fun. If you, don't, if you don't care, like if you... Let's, let's frame it this way. If you don't really care about that stuff and you're like, hey, if they win, they win. Prepare to play a lot of 30-second games <laughs> because it's just going to be frustrating. You're just like, draw your opening hand, look at it, play two lands and a signet, and then you're dead. Yep. This deck has... So, op- I, I don't know how fun that's going to be for some people. This opening hands that just win the game. Pretty much. Um, this deck can go off on turn... This, I would say this deck can probably consistently go we, off... We saw it turn one. So let's just say anytime after turn one. Yeah, but uh, consistently. Uh, so Let's I would say, say turn four consistently. Turn four, I turn five know. consistently. Mm-hmm. Like it's going to be very hard. It's very low passive. effort. You can never let the commander live. We were having a lot of trouble yesterday. <laughs> when we were talking about commanders you can never let live. Nekuzar was one of them. <laughs> yeah, we just let that live forever. And we just we kept... weren't playing decks with removal. And you, you got to <laughs> choose your deck with removal when there's this Nekuzar or Vanity Fair. Because if you don't play a removal deck, you're just going to get screwed every time. Yep, and it feels terrible. Um, I think we've said what we need to say. This card is pretty much. We just this card to get is it cool, out. but yeah, this is, our, this is like our our initial thoughts plus cards you could play if you were trying to build a deck. You know, here's a bunch of suggestions. Yeah, this deck is cool. This deck can be one of the most fun decks to play. I think she's a cool design. Should have been Boros. I think they should have been Boros. It solves all the problems. Should have been Boros. There's no good Boros cards to pot into. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> then it would just be fun. The the thing, they broke the mold. They finally gave you, they finally gave you that Simic Commander that's not counters. That's true. And they finally gave you it, and it's insane. It's crazy. And it's completely insane and probably too good. They just changed the card type on Birthing Pod. That's all they did. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. And without the, not even activate the cost is huge. Yeah. If this was I one mean, green activate, the, the, yeah, this card is super, super good. That but it fixes is it too. so much. It's so much worse. Yeah, that it fixes does. it too. You know, you can add once per turn, or you can add green blue tap activate. Yeah, you know, why is that? Like that's completely fair. Cards it's still like, good. Sure, you and you can combo with that. Mm-hmm. You can probably combo consistently in turn mana. six and seven in this with that. Mm-hmm. Like because it can go off. But instead, they had to, they just didn't give it a cost, and this card's busted. Right. So we like it. I don't know. Um, it's that's tough to go. What we wanted to say we've got these cards. You know. Well, they'll be on screen, just kind of phasing through for you to see. Yeah, there's a lot of... So we just wanted to give you some suggestions, let you know, hey, here's what we would play. We're not going to build a whole deck about it, because it's pretty straightforward. We're not going to build a whole deck about it, because I don't You don't think... need to know the mana base, right? <laughs> like, this is basically everything else in the deck. I'm, I don't, I'm not interested in this card as a commander. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not really interested in it. Cynic so I'm not is kind of boring for, for me, in general. If this deck was fair, I would build it. I really like this commander. What if I... this deck was fair and Judith said token? Ooh. Which one would you build? Then, I, then I'd be on the fence about two decks. <laughs> yeah, God, why did you just say token? They, they literally... Judith, why? Do you see this card? This card goes infinite. On turn f- five, oh, yeah. four or five easy. But Judith... It's non-token, token, baby. Non-token. Let's be fair here, Yeah, okay? we don't want to bust it in standard. Three mana, two, two. All right. That's uh, all signing, we had for you. We're if signing you, off. If you Ooh. enjoyed it. Make sure you like, like subscribe... subscribe. Leave a comment below. Um, actually, while we're here... Yeah, while we're here... Why don't we talk about our other series? Well, yeah, I was going to do that, but you forgot something. We have something new. What are you forgetting about, PC? I'm waiting till you say it. Pretending like I don't know. Do you, I don't know. Do you not know? I know. I'm well, pretending I don't know. I don't think he knows. I know. I don't think he knows. Just say it. We have a Patreon. woo So... If you really like the channel and you enjoy our videos, yes. you can head over to Patreon and support us. Just, just head over there. Just head over there. Head over there. Check it out if you really it. feel like you enjoyed it. If not, you yeah. can just leave a like. There's also you don't have to do anything. Yeah. We're not even forcing Also, if you join, hey, 
in the Picking Nerds Discord. If you're that's you know, true for our Patreon supporters, they'll be in the Picking Nerds Discord. We're excited to talk to you and hopefully get some more suggestions for tune-ups. Yes, please send them more decks. Um, Even in the comments of this video, we do you like, can leave a deck list. Uh, like, we have a lot of deck. cool. We we love our fans and we love that, that that like you're sending us multiple decks. But come on, other people. We want, Get in there. We're trying to do as many. We're trying to be as broad and like give as many people a chance as possible. Like we don't mind doing the same person's deck. We'll do literal locks every other week. Let's get ahead. <laughs> Let's do it. We'll do it every other week. But we prefer to try and give more people a chance. Well, we've done two literal lock decks now. <laughs> but right. this is all we wanted to say. This we just got it out there. Oh yeah, this but is what for, we think of the new commander. For tune us, make sure you want to leave a tapped out link below. Yeah, and we tune up your deck. We help you make it better under your restrictions. So. This was fun. Vanifer is busted. And we'll see you for the next one. And we will see you for the next one. This was new. This I'm Joe Cherries. This I'm is Beezy. We're in the picking notes. Bye. And we're signing off.